From high in the sky, it's a tiny patch of native bush, a remnant of woodland in the western wheat belt that has survived the clear as axe. But down on the forest floor, the Dryandra woodland is a sanctuary, one of the last refuges of another West Australian survivor, the Numbat. Made an emblem of the state in 1973, almost 50 years on, their home here is now being made more secure. It's a step up from state forest into national park. The idea that we preserve the environment means we have a habitat which is safe for native species to, to survive and to thrive. It's estimated there's around a thousand numbats left in the state. Following fox control, small populations have slowly been re-established. For those who've been working at the front line for years to save native marsupials from extinction, the new park upgrade is a milestone. I've been waiting for this as long as I've been here. And previous to that, it's, so it's, uh, I didn't think it was going to happen, to be honest, but <laughs> here we are. And uh, retire in February and we've, we've got it. The move means higher levels of conservation, more research and radio tracking to monitor the native populations. The Numbat and Woorley are so Im important at Dryandra. They're one of the last two remaining endemic populations that exist within the southwest. But for Bill Smart, the announcement hasn't gone far enough. Last year, he raised the alarm about dozens of Numbats perishing in an intense bushfire lit by Parks and Wildlife at Perup near Manjimup. There's only two places in the world where you can see numbats. That's at Dryander and here. He wants the Tone River forests to be also given park status to afford more care to the vulnerable species. If it was a national park, I think there would be more eyes on this, this area. More people would be aware of what's here and how important it is to protect it and the, the fire regime would be more gentle hopefully. The Environment Minister says there are no plans to extend park status to the Perup area but says the decision to end native tree logging in state forests in 2024 will provide more protection for endangered flora and fauna in the southwest. Mark Bennett, ABC News, Triandra.